Well, pro golfers are taking their best shots on the green in Des Moines right now. The Principal Charity Classic is underway. And that's where we find our sports director, Scott Reister. He's live at the Wakanda Club right now. Hey, Scott. Hey, a lot of fun going on here today. It's always amazing how many giant, big household names come through on the Champions Tour. But today here in round one, we actually also had a rookie on the tour who started swinging the clubs for the Champions Tour literally on the first day he was eligible to do so. This is a pretty neat story. Chad Campbell, a Dallas native, turned 50 years old today. You have to be 50 to participate. So this was exactly the perfect timing for him. And he made it count. He shot a six under good, 66. <laughs> Tournament organizers are ready after a huge birthday cake that said, welcome to the tour. No candles. Where are the candles? Come on, guys. Still a fun moment. Birthday to you. Is that all y'all got? Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Chad. Happy birthday to you. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> You know, I was um, definitely excited. Been waiting to, waiting to get out here for a little while now. And um, you know, it's nice to come out first round. You know, my birthday, and um, you know, have a good round. Yeah, great stuff. Ernie Els, the big winner, shot a 62. The World Golf Hall of Famer tied a course and tournament record with that. He leads a 10 under uh, by two. Defending champ Stephen Ames in that group tied for second at eight under. More at six from Ernie Els himself. Until then, Scott Reister, live at Wakanda Club. Back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. A lot is happening at this year's Principal Charity Classic. KCCI's Alyssa Gomez shares how the tournament is shaking things up this year with several new events. The three-day golf tournament brings pros from all over the world to Des Moines, and it gives Iowans a chance to witness world-class golfing right in their backyard. This year brings several new events, including the first ever pedal to the PCC. I mean, what's not to be excited about? You think about getting on your bike on a Sunday morning. And riding it all the way through the city to the tournament, with a stop at Big Grove Brewery, of course. Around 100 riders are already signed up. Also new this year, you can take a seat at the Sustainability Grove. There, you can learn about how the Principal Charity Classic and its partners are making the event environmentally friendly and learn how you can do the same. After that, head on over to the Family Fun Zone. They have playgrounds, quiet places for kids that maybe need a little bit more quiet throughout the day. It is tailored around bringing young families out here. And while you're out there cheering on your favorite player, know that there's a deeper mission behind each swing because this year, players are participating in Drive 4 515. Every time a PGA Champion player makes an ace, birdie, or eagle on holes 16, 17, and 18, money will be donated to the Legacy Project, a charity focused on preparing Iowa kids for the future. That's just one of the many ways PCC is making a difference. Plus, another 80 charities benefit around important topics like education, health, life skills, those things that really can make a difference in the community. A great reason to get out on the green. This is a wonderful place to spend your Friday, your Saturday, your Sunday, bring your family. Again, there's a lot of things to do, whether it's in the play zones, there's great food, there's great entertainment, the legends of golf. In Des Moines, Alyssa Gomez, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.